गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वी आर गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू विद द एसे द वर्शिप ऑफ द वेल्दी बाई जी के चेस्टन द राइटर कंटिन्यूज विद द थीम एंड से इज दैट टूडेज फ्लैटर आर डिसऑनेस्ट एंड दे इंडल्ज इन फ्लैटरी इन अ मोस्ट ऑफफुल वे द राइटर से इज I have noticed one very amusing way in which this is done. I noticed the method applied to about six of the wealthiest men in England in a book of interviews published by an able and well-known journalist. The flatterer contrives to combine strict truth of fact with the vast atmosphere of awe and mystery by the simple operation of dealing almost entirely in negatives suppose you are writing a sympathetic study of mr pierpont morgan perhaps there is not much to say about what he does think or like or admire but you can suggest whole vistas of his taste and philosophy by talking a great deal about what he does not think or like or admire so the writer says that in today's time the flattery has become dishonest the flatterer indulges in negative logic and he says that the particular person does not have this attribute he does not like this thing and he tries to glorify that person by doing so the writer goes on to say that these days flatterers apply adjectives such as simple modest and quiet to all and sundry specifically to the person that he or she is trying to flatter the writer feels that simplicity and modesty are highest rank of human virtues and rarely found these virtues are not things to fling about as mere flattery many prophets and righteousness men have desired to see these things and have not seen them but in the description of the birth lives and deaths of very luxurious men they are used incessantly and quite without thought so the writer is trying to say that the flatterers of today they use adjectives such as simplicity and modesty and humility without any discretion they apply it to any person whether that person is simple or not modest or not humble or not that is another question because these virtues are actually very very rare virtues true simplicity true modesty true humility are very very rare virtues that are rarely found in mankind but the flatterers of today's times they apply it to the powerful similarly the writer comments upon the use of the word honorable how often it is used to ornament the personal personalities of the rich and the powerful and uh, in a very interesting manner the writer gives the example of this sentence put honorable umbrella in honorable umbrella stand so what is the significance of the word honorable in this sentence can we apply it to an umbrella can we apply it to an umbrella stand but the flatterers of today's times they apply such adjectives to even umbrella and umbrella stands he further says if we have to pay for splendor let us praise it as splendor and not as simplicity so these are the concluding lines of the essay and the essence of the essay has come out in these lines that if a person calls splendor splendor then it is fine but if he calls he or she calls splendor as simplicity then it is not done 
This is the fact that the writer has tried to emphasize and the difference between the flat tales of old times and present times. So this was the essay. That is all for today. Thanks. Thank you.